Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the cool new features of the Android 10 build that is officially out of beta. Google made the announcement earlier this morning that Android 10 is out of beta. And as of course, right after that, we started noticing all of our Pixel devices starting to get notifications, basically saying that this is the final build. Now I was running the beta six on my Pixel 3a XL. So my update was only 44 megabytes and it is finally installed and I restarted my device. So let me share with you guys all of the cool new features that we now have on Android 10 on our Pixel devices and hopefully very soon on one of your devices if you're not running Pixel devices currently. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. So in front of us I have the Pixel 3a XL and the Pixel 3 XL. Uh, both of them are running two different versions of Android. This is still running Android 9.0 and this actually been updated to Android 10 as I was running the beta on this ever since I received the device. Uh, the first thing you'll notice obviously is the notification lock screen for the most part we're noticing is that the percentage is right here. That's the battery percentage on here and of course it mimicked here what it's present at the top. I do have the dark theme that's already installed. The other thing I want to mention to you guys obviously is this is actually now called Android 10. There is no name, there's no quiche, there's no, the Q didn't stand for anything. This is pretty much Android 10. And what we're running right now is Android 10 and it is running a September 5th security patch update and today is September 3rd, 2019. So we are in somewhere pretty much ahead of the curve and ahead of everybody else at this point since we're three, two days away from that. Uh, but of course, if we just double press here, we have the Android 10 or the, well, the Android 10 uh, Easter egg, and you can basically just number it down to make it look like it's Android 1.0. Uh, we're starting to go with numbers, so for the most part, this is what we have for the Easter egg. Uh, it's very exciting. My Pixel 3 XL did not receive the update, and you'll notice I'm still running it here. It is basically uh, running the latest software as it actually does have the August 5th security patch update, just no Android 10 yet. The first thing we'll notice right here is that we now have dark theme support. So if I scroll here on the right, I can click it over and it'll give me access to turn on dark theme all across. We also have the ability of doing accents. So if I go into system, go option, and as long as I have developer options turned on, scroll all the way down to the bottom, we now have accent colors. Now, by default, the colors that we saw before were pretty much already applied. But let's say I want to go over to Ocean, which is kind of like the bluish tint that I'd like to go. And you notice right there, it changes color ever so slightly. I can go in there. I can change that to be green. Give it a second. It'll permeate. And you'll notice that it permeates throughout the actual UI. If you leave it by default, it'll basically turn on the more of a, a bluish tan color. And that's something that you can definitely customize and of course change as, as you'd like. And the next thing we definitely now have is the ability of turning on the chat bubbles available for all applications. Uh, the main thing you wanna do is obviously make sure you turn that on within the developer option. As by default, it's turned off. So there's a couple new features there on top of the fact that if you wanna speed up animation, that feature is still in here, of course, as well as USB debugging. And the next feature that I really, really like is the ability of actually using, so normally if we're list listening to music, we'll say, we'll go ahead and turn on music here and you want to be able to listen to your song, everything works normally. But now in Android 10, we have the ability of actually scrubbing through, liking and disliking, of course, as well as going to skip forward and back. So pretty much all of the controls that we normally have within our application. Now I'm using this with YouTube Music. This will work with most of the uh, actual music playback as this widget is adaptable to those music services. But again, very nice. We can actually go in there, customize, and of course, basically go into the settings if we'd like to kind of configure that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is obviously gestures. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is you'll notice that we no longer have that little pill option. So if what we notice here is I have no bar, no pill, nothing. Um, I'm still able to swipe up, get in the middle, get access to all the recent application, go home. If I swipe from the corner edge on this angle or even this angle, I'm able to initiate the Google Assistant. I'm also able to actually go in here and use the back button now that you notice that little arrow that's present as the back function as opposed to having that button here as opposed to you know when we go up, we have the back button here. Um, last but not least, it, this is not the only way for us to control our navigation process here. Uh, what we can do as well, go under system, go to gestures, and then from there, we're also able to go to system navigation. You'll notice that there's three options right now. We now have the ability of going between the gesture navigation, which is what I showed you right there. And that's pretty much the ability as well here to configure the sensitivity for it. And that's the sensitivity of the back buttons. And the back buttons are both present on the, both the right side and left side concurrently. So if you're using it from either one right-handed or left-handed, you should be pretty good. If we go to the two button navigation, now for the most part, that mirrors what we had here. And that's basically the ability of going here, swiping up a little bit, gives us access to the recent application. And of course we have the back button. 
Last but not least, we have the ability of going back even earlier than that by going to the standard three button navigation, home, recent, uh, sorry, home, recent, and back. And of course, we have accessibility if you like to use it. And I'll explain to you some of these functionalities within accessibility that are unique to Android 10. But again, you can pick out whatever you'd like. You can stick with gestures, of course, or you can go to the button navigation. Either way, you're definitely going to be enjoying it. As ge gestures now are very, very nice. And not only that, they're also very fast. So here, navigation between the different applications are very, 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 very fast. And of course, we'll go back home. Some of the new cool features that we also have in Android 10 is the ability of using dictation. That's a live dictation service. So I'm going to swipe up and hold the button in the middle here and I'll give it a second. I have it configured right now to do so, but that gesture enables me to pick the services. If I don't, it'll pick whatever last service I used. So we have the ability of using either live transcribe or sound amplifier. Now, sound amplifier is a very functional tool to use whenever you're listening to music so that you can listen to the sound or the surrounding sounding as well as the music you're listening to. In case somebody comes up to you and tries to talk to you and you're jamming to your music and you obviously can't hear them. Uh, but for this example, let's go ahead and just swipe it up a little bit and that takes me straight into live dictation. And as you notice right there, it is actually transcribing every single word that I'm saying directly onto the phone and it actually does a really good job of that. إذا بدي أقلب اللغة وبلش أحكيكم باللغة العربية هيدي اللغة بتمشي مزبوط فيها فينا نحكي بالعربي فينا نحكي بالإنجليزي كل هالشغلات موجودة بقلب الأندرويد عشرة اللي ظهر اليوم من جوجل and of course I can switch back to talking in English and all of that will basically keep going. You can add different languages and configure all of these features and they're definitely very, very nice. So if I go ahead and swipe up and hold, I'm able to go into sound amplifier and now, now this functionality will work really good whenever we're using headphones. So if your device supports headphones, especially if you have Android 10 and then the Pixel 3a does support that, I'm able to start using the sound amplification service that will basically sit in my notification panel. So let's go ahead and swipe it up. You'll notice right there, amplifier is active. I can go in there, customize it, amplify the boost, the fine tuning, and of course, uh, adjust ear separately. You can configure for noise, for the source, as well as sound. Again, it works really good and it does actually function very nicely. And you can customize this gesture to work whichever way you want. If you swipe up and hold, you can pick between the two. And now by default, every time I swipe up in the middle, it takes me into the service itself. Very nice, very easy to use. Now the next feature that came out here is actually very, very nice. And that's the ability of being able to focus on things specifically on your device. So an example, we'll go in here, we'll, we're gonna go down to digital well-being. And within the digital well-being, you'll notice that there's a new option called focus mode. And this is, it gives us the ability of basically stopping notification, almost stopping the applications from running in the background and providing us any kind of interruption whenever we're trying to be more productive in doing one th single thing on our device. An example here, I can actually select this so that it basically turns on and it basically blocks Instagram for a certain amount of time, photos, Google uh, application, any other notification that I have, or any other application on my device. If you don't want it to be part of the list, uncheck it. But once you have it on, it'll give you the ability of focusing on whatever you're doing without getting notification from chat messages, uh, notification from Instagram, Facebook, all of that. And it allows you to basically just do all the work that you need to do specifically and directly. And of course, we do have access to all the information as to how we use the rest of our device within the standard new, well, digital well-being. Now, one of the other cool features that they talked about is the ability of using Family Link. Now, for Family Link, you do need to download the application on both devices, so the parent device and the child's device and the other thing you want to be aware of obviously that on top of the fact that you can manage this device limit usability as well as what applications are there also you have to make sure that there was only one account logged in on this and it is part of the family group so you have to create a family group directly within your google account as well as the ability basically managing this device uh, both of these features are available and you can download them now as you notice this is running android 9.0 so i can definitely manage an account that's on an android 9.0 device again just only one account can be logged in on this device one of the other cool features that they also have here is the ability of turning on the service for caption preferences, and that's the live caption transcribing uh, service that they have. Um, you can go in there under accessibility, turn it on, as well as use the set up the language, the text size, as well as the caption style that you'd like. So basically black or white, depending on the text that you choose. And one of the more simple things that we've basically been using for quite some time is that's the ability of taking screenshots. So at this point, you notice right there, normally what we used to do is using the volume and the power and that used to give us screenshots and that doesn't work anymore. So if I press and hold the power button, screenshot is present there. It's going to grab the screenshot straight from here. And then of course, give it a second for it to finish saving the screenshot. Once it is done, we're able to actually share it or straight up edit it directly within. And then of course, be able to share it at that point. And you'll notice right there, here's the image. I can actually put some notes. I can point some direction, check out the temperature. It is very hot today. And of course, share it from there and it'll share it as whatever form of sharing option that I'd like throughout my options that I have available on my phone. 
So for the most part, Pixel devices will be receiving this update much, much faster than most devices on the market. And again, that's part of the appeal of Pixel devices. So the Pixel 3a XL, the Pixel 3, any Pixel device that was part of the beta or was capable of receiving the beta should start receiving this update uh, actually starting today. Um, unfortunately for me, for some reason, my Pixel 3 XL did not receive the update and I keep trying ever since they made the announcement this morning. My Pixel 3, 3a XL did receive it as it was part of the beta. I was running beta 6, the latest beta that they had a couple weeks ago. And of course, the update was about like 44 megabytes. So it was an easy install, very simple, very quick. Um, I like how it works and I do want to mention that the smoothness and the functionalities of all the things that I showed you today will be available on the Pixel 3a XL or the, P no, the Pixel 3 XL uh, and it will run much faster as that one has a much faster and much stronger processor than the Pixel 3a XL. The Pixel 3a XL is a budget device around 400, 450 bucks so just keep in mind the processor there is not as fast but we got all the same features, the camera applications, the functionality. I even shared a picture today on my Instagram showing a picture that I took while I was running the beta as again, the cameras on these devices are absolutely fantastic. Um, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and we'll see you guys in the next video.